race that horse ran. Yes. I'm sorry you didn't win, Mr. Shan. Oh, that's all right, Jeff. We can't all win. And when I don't win, there's nobody I'd rather see win than you. Thanks, Mr. Shan. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been keeping these fingers crossed so long, they stay that way. Is that why your three horses have all beaten mine? I can't understand that. Long enough to know there's nothing wrong with your horses? I don't understand it either. There's something phony about it. Oh, no, no, no. It's just the breaks of the game. But keep it clean, Jeff. It's boys like you that'll do it. Yeah, it's men like you that have already done it. Master Jeff! Master Jeff! Pardon me, Mr. Shan. Mr. Shannon, your niece is at the stable. Martha? Oh, Jeff, I... Oh, he's gone. I wanted Jeff to meet her. Well, so long for the moment, Martha. Betty and I will run along. I must be leaving before your uncle arrives. Why? Have you two had another run-in? No. But my horses have been beaten so often lately, it isn't even funny. <laughs> Poor Uncle Henry. Uh, by the way, Martha, I'd like to propose to you before I leave. Oh, Uncle Lou, you proposed to Martha as soon as we got off the train. Let him have his fun, Betty. We'll see who gets tired first. She loves me not. Come, Betty, before I show unmanly emotion. <laughs> Uncle Henry. Hello, Angel. <laughs> what cloud did you drop off of? Now, none of your taffy. You were due home at the ranch two weeks ago. Yes, I know, but my horses were running and I had Henry, to... Henry, Sharon, you care more for your horses than for your only living relative. Now, that isn't so. My horses were running and I and couldn't... And losing, as usual. Oh, I can't understand. My entries have been in shape and ready to run. How much I... money have you lost? Well, you got your check, didn't you? Do you need more money? Oh, of course not. No, you've been more than generous. It's the ranch. You're letting it run down. Remember, that's the only home I've ever known. How did you get here? Aren't you due back at the school? Yes, but I wanted to see you. So Betty Stewart wired Lou and he met us at the train. We can stop over till 4 o'clock. Lou Ralston? Is he still proposing to you regularly? Why do you object to lose so much? Is it because his horses are always beating yours? No, it isn't that. It's instinct. Or perhaps it's because he's too old. Maybe just horse sense. The same horse sense you're showing and refusing. Oh, but I can't go on refusing him forever. You'd better, or I'll cut you off without a penny. Oh. Well, I'd hate to lose the ranch. But uh, Lou has more money than we'd know what to do with. Oh, oh you caught me that time. <laughs> <laughs> have you run certified check yet? No, not yet. I can't get him in shape. But in spite of all that, he's still my favorite. Ain't you, old boy? <laughs> Uncle Henry, I think you have a strong maternal instinct. I should have. Bottle feeding you. Of all the stubborn little nuisances I that was I... not. And if that's what you think of me, I'll go back where I'm a priest. No, 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 wait, wait. You to meet Jeff Clayton. All right. But remember, you're on your good behavior. All right. <laughs> Come on out, old boy. Let's see what's wrong with you. Well, Sharon lost again. Good work, Baker. You know, I may have to make it tougher on Sharon, much as I hate to do it, but that seems to be about the only thing that'll make Martha stop turning me down. Are you all right, Miss Sharon? <laughs> yes. Is he very bad, Uncle? I'm afraid so. Then you're sure he's all right, Doctor? He's going to live, if that's what you mean. But how well a man will be when he leaves here is difficult to say. What's the principal trouble? There's one rib pressing directly on the heart. Any undue excitement, anything that causes the heart to be faster, may prove fatal. You keep the boy here until you feel it's safe for him to leave. I left a check downstairs, and if the bill's any larger, why, just write to my bank. I understand, Mr. Chair. May I go in? Oh, yes, sir. I feel a lot better about you, Jeff, since I had a little chat with the doctor. So they are going to shoot me? Oh, you'll be as spry as a two-year-old. But it's going to take a little time. So I'll ship your horses with mine and run them regularly. That's mighty kind of you, Mr. Sharon. That's all right, boy. I'm going, Jeff. 
Now that I know you've got nothing to worry about, I'll expect to have you right me before long. Certainly will. Come on, Tuggy. Got a lot to do before train time. I'm staying, please, sir. Staying? Well, you always have a job with me. You know that, Tuggy. I know, Mr. Sharon. But I reckon I'll kind of stick around here in case Master Jeff needs me. Stay till he gets better, anyhow. It might be for months, Tuggy. I'm a pretty good sticker, Master Jeff. Your fault, old boy. I had hopes that you were going to help me break my jinx. <laughs> but I'm not blaming you. The sheriff will get him next. No, sir. This is the one horse nobody's going to get. How are you going to stop him? I don't know. But I'll find a way. <laughs> couldn't find a better place. It's the loneliest spot I've ever seen. Yes. Get him out. I'll take him. You wait here. You're a thoroughbred. You have the right to live like a gentleman. There are wild horses out there. Go find them. Maybe your forefathers came from here. Fences out there. Learn to kick up your heels again. Learn to run again. Goodbye, old boy. Good luck. That's the last you'll see of him. I sort of wish I could go along with him. Doggone. Sure is great to see your family eating around again, Master Jeff. What's good about it? Still use alive and kick it. Use alive, ain't you? <laughs> you can leave in the kicking. Ruled off the turf for life. Excitement means I'm flirting with a wooden uncoat. Docs don't say maybe you get better down in Arizona. Just keep them. I'm afraid that gang's gone on a strike. You're going to work for Mr. Shan now. Yes, I always got a job there. But I'll go to Arizona with you if you'll have me. No, it can't be done. Can you tell Mr. Sharon to stop sending me money. My horses haven't won a race since Petro won. But Mr. Sharon write and see our horses been winning. Yeah, and I wrote and told him he was a kind-hearted old faker. Doesn't he think I read the newspapers? Yes, I'll tell him as soon as I see him. I'll spot you to a ticket. No, sir, I got tickets. Well, goodbye, Tucky. Goodbye. Good luck. 
and keep them fingers crossed. Use my two tickets. So get busy and get me going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>